Norman Architecture, Wikipedia article audio. The term Norman architecture is used to categorize styles of Romanesque architecture developed by the Normans in the various lands under their dominion or influence in the 11th and 12th centuries. In particular the term is traditionally used for English Romanesque architecture. The Normans introduced large numbers of castles and fortifications including Norman keeps, and at the same time monasteries, abbeys, churches, and cathedrals, in a style characterized by the usual Romanesque rounded arches and especially massive proportions compared to other regional variations of the style. Origins Norman Arch Normandy England Ecclesiastical Architecture Military Architecture Domestic Architecture Scotland Ecclesiastical Architecture II Ireland Italy Mezzogiorno Sicily Malta Transitional Style Neo-Norman Gallery Sources and Literature These Romanesque styles originated in Normandy and became widespread in northwestern Europe, particularly in England, which contributed considerable development and has the largest number of surviving examples. At about the same time a Norman dynasty ruled in Sicily, producing a distinctive variation incorporating Byzantine and Saracen influences which is also known as Norman architecture, or alternatively as Sicilian Romanesque. Ancient Rome's invention of the arch is the basis of all Norman architecture. The term may have originated with 18th century antiquarians, but its usage in a sequence of styles has been attributed to Thomas Rickman in his 1817 work in attempt to discriminate the styles of English architecture from the conquest to the Reformation which used the labels Norman, Early English, Decorated, and Perpendicular. The more inclusive term Romanesque was used of the Romance languages in English by 1715 and was applied to architecture of the 11th and 12th centuries from 1819. Although Edward the Confessor built Westminster Abbey in Romanesque style just before the conquest, which is still believed to be the earliest major Romanesque building in England, no significant remaining Romanesque architecture in Britain can clearly be shown to predate the conquest although historians believe that many surviving Norman elements in buildings, nearly all churches, may well in fact be Anglo-Saxon. The Norman arch is a defining point of Norman architecture. Grand archways are designed to evoke feelings of awe and are very commonly seen as the entrance to large religious buildings such as cathedrals. Viking invaders arrived at the mouth of the River Seine in 911, at a time when Franks were fighting on horseback and Frankish lords were building castles. Over the next century the population of the territory ceded to the Vikings, now called Normans, adopted these customs as well as Christianity and the Long Doal. Norman barons built timber castles on earthen mounds, beginning the development of Mott and Bailey castles, and great stone churches in the Romanesque style of the Franks. By 950 they were building stone keeps. The Normans were among the most travelled peoples of Europe, exposed to a wide variety of cultural influences including the Near East, some of which became incorporated in their art and architecture. They elaborated on the early Christian basilica plan, longitudinal with side aisles and an apse, and a western FAA aid with two towers as at the Church of St. A. Per Thousandchen at Seen begun in 1067, which formed a model for the larger English cathedrals beginning some 20 years later. 
In England, Norman nobles and bishops had influence before the Norman conquest of 1066, and Norman influences affected late Anglo-Saxon architecture. Edward the Confessor was brought up in Normandy, and in 1042 brought masons to work on Westminster Abbey, the first Romanesque building in England. In 1051 he brought in Norman knights who built Mott castles as a defence against the Welsh. Following the invasion Normans rapidly constructed Mott and Bailey castles, and in a burst of building activity built churches and abbeys, as well as more elaborate fortifications including Norman stone keeps. The buildings show massive proportions and simple geometries, the masonry with small bands of sculpture, perhaps as blind arcading, and concentrated spaces of capitals and round doorways and in the tympanum under an arch. The Norman arch is the round arch. Norman mouldings are carved or incised with geometric ornament, such as chevron patterns, frequently termed zigzag mouldings, around arches. The cruciform churches often had deep chancels and a square crossing tower which has remained a feature of English ecclesiastical architecture. Hundreds of parish churches were built and the great English cathedrals were founded from 1083. After a fire damaged Canterbury Cathedral in 1174 Norman masons introduced the new Gothic architecture. Around 1191 Wells Cathedral and Lincoln Cathedral brought in the English Gothic style, and Norman became increasingly a modest style of provincial building. Bibliography Scotland also came under early Norman influence, with Norman nobles at the court of King Macbeth around 1050. His successor Ma el Kaluim III overthrew him with English and Norman assistance, and his Queen Margaret encouraged the church. The Benedictine Order founded a monastery at Dunfermline. Her sixth and youngest son who became King David built St. Margaret's Chapel at the start of the 12th century. Kirkliston Parish Church with rare examples of late 12th century Norman transitional architecture, Dublin Castle and Carrick Fergus Castle in County Antrim. The Normans began constructing castles, their trademark architectural piece, in Italy from an early date. William Iron Arm built one at an unidentified location in Calabria in 1045. After the death of Robert Giscar in 1085, peninsular southern Italy experienced a series of civil wars and fell under the control of increasingly weaker princes. Revolts characterized the region until well into the 12th century and minor lords sought to resist ducal or royal power from within their own castles. In the Molise, the Normans embarked on their most extensive castle-building program and introduced the opus gallicum technique to Italy. Their clever use of the local stone artisans together with the vast riches amassed from their enslaved population, made such tremendous feats possible as majestic as some of the ancient Roman structures they tried to emulate. Besides the encastellation of the countryside, the Normans erected several religious buildings which still survive. They edified the shrine at Monte Sant'Angelo and built a mausoleum to the Hauteville family at Venosa. They also built many new Latin monasteries, including the famous foundation of Sant Euphemia. Other examples of great importance are the portal of the Shrine of Mary Queen of Anglina and the ambulatory and radiating chapels of the Aversa Cathedral. In Salerno, however, remember Frushone Palace. Sicily's Norman period lasted from circa 1070 until about 1200. The architecture was decorated in gilded mosaics such as that at the cathedral at Monreal. 
The Palatine Chapel in Palermo built in 1130 is the perhaps the strongest example of this where the interior of the dome is decorated in mosaic depicting Christ Pantocrator accompanied by his angels. During Sicily's later Norman era early Gothic influences can be detected such as those in the cathedral at Messina consecrated in 1197. However, here the High Gothic Campanile is of a later date, and should not be confused with the early Gothic built during the Norman period, which featured pointed arches and windows rather than the flying buttresses and pinnacles later to manifest themselves in the Gothic era. After its Norman conquest in 1091, Malta saw the construction of several Norman pieces of architecture. Many have been demolished and rebuilt over the years, however some fortresses and houses still exist in Medina and Vitoriasa. As master masons developed the style and experimented with ways of overcoming the geometric difficulties of growing vaulted ceilings, they introduced features such as the pointed arch that were later characterized as being Gothic in style. Architectural historians and scholars consider that a style must be assessed as an integral whole rather than an aggregate of features, and while some include these developments within the Norman or Romanesque styles, others describe them as transitional or Normana Euro Gothic transitional. A few websites use the term Norman Gothic, but it is unclear whether they refer to the transitional style or to the Norman style as a whole. A style of architecture that emulates works of Norman architecture from the 11th and 12th century Romanesque in Britain and Normandy. These works are prominent in many 20th century buildings and spaces, particularly the arch and pillars. There are two examples in Manchester, the former Stock Exchange building and a synagogue in Fallowfield. A Bay Auxiliary Homs, Scene Green Castle, County Down Castle at Raviscanina, Redoubt of the Rebel Andrew of Rupacanina The Palazzo Dei Normani in Palermo the Panto Crater in the apse of the Cathedral of Cephala Superscript 1. The Cathedral of Palermo was erected in 1185 by Walter of the Mill, the Anglo-Norman Archbishop of Palermo and King William II's minister. New Romney Church Tower, an example of English small-town Norman architecture. Winchester Cathedral an example of Norman architecture in England. Example of a small village church in Perford, Surrey, England. St. Bees Priory, Cumbria, West Door, circa 1160. Archway, Norman Tower, Bury St. Edmunds, Suffolk, C1120A Euro 1148. Setting, Edmund H. Norman Architecture in Cornwall, a handbook to old ecclesiastical architecture. With over 160 plates. London, Ward and Co. Edifices in Palermo, Norman Palace with its Palatine Chapel, Zisa, Cuba, Castle of Mare Dolce, Cathedral of Palermo. San Giovanni dei Lebrosi, San Giovanni degli Aramidi, Santa Maria dell'Amaraglio also known as Martirana, San Cataldo, Church of the Holy Spirit also known as Chisa del Vespro, Santa Sima Trinita known as Chisa della Magione, the Admiral's Bridge. Arches in the southern nave of the Church of St. Lawrence, Alton, Hampshire. C1070 a Euro 1100. St. Michael's Michael Ham C950 1180. Palazzo Falson, Medina, Malta C.1494. Palazzo Santa Sofia, Medina, Malta C1233.